Hey everyone, welcome to my new channel, Film It. This is the first video. On this video, I have decided to take you all to the notorious Gypsy Murder House here in Baltimore, probably the most notorious property in all of Baltimore. Was supposed to be torn down several times, but still stands today and it is late it's like almost three o'clock in the morning I'm having trouble sleeping tonight so I thought let me just go make a video so here we go we're coming up here this is Johns Hopkins over here uh, and we're going to be coming to the gypsy murder house shortly here is Dunkin Donuts and then right next to Dunkin Donuts is the house get a good look at it here. So in November of 1994, a man by the name of Douglas Thomas Clark was coming to this house. Um, a lady, a gypsy by the name of Deborah Stevens, ran a palm reading business out of the front here. So Douglas Thomas Clark was coming to her quite often. And after a while he started to believe that she had put a hex on him. So early one morning around 9.30, some neighbors across the street here in this house saw Douglas Thomas Clark and the gypsy having an argument on the steps here. That's the last time they ever saw her. Later on the day, in the day, uh, somebody came to check on her and they could not get an answer at the door. They were knocking on the door. They couldn't get her to answer. They finally pushed their way in and they found her right inside of this door on the floor, which I'll try to get a shot of here. Don't know if we can see this. But they found her on the floor, right, right about here. Her head was over here. Her head was 10 feet away from the body. She had been completely decapitated and bludgeoned to death. And that happened right here. So I'll walk around this side and see if I can get a peek through this window here. Maybe we can get it. You see they put a board up. Anyway, so this fortune teller, uh, Gypsy, was a matriarch of a very prominent Gypsy family here in Baltimore. They all came to this parking lot after they had found out about her death and had a celebration, a two-day celebration in this parking lot. Hundreds of people came to celebrate this woman's life. Douglas Thomas Clark was caught the next day trying to commit suicide by throwing himself in front of a train uh, he was charged with first-degree murder, um, ended up in, uh, I believe, an institution, and he is now free, uh, living still in Baltimore, though people don't know exactly where he is or what he is doing today. The Gypsy family vowed to acquire this house and to tear it down, and it never happened. The house actually belongs to the owner of the mattress store across the street. They used it for storage for a long time, um, but now it just sits empty and it's for sale. Though I don't know if anyone is going to buy this. Anyway, 
that is the Gypsy Murder House, a very notorious forgotten property here in Baltimore. You wonder on this busy road right here, which is Pulaski Highway Route 40, this is right at uh, Pulaski Highway Route 40 and Haven Street. You wonder all the people who ride by here, do they ever remember the horrible murder that took place right inside of this door? Craziness. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. There's more videos on the way. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you.